Hello, and welcome to The Build Up, a podcast by Procon Consulting, where we discuss all things related to the construction industry. I am your host, Q Jung. Uh, we have a very special episode of the podcast this week. Right now, we are here at CMAA, the Construction Management Association of America National Conference here in sunny San Diego. This is truly one of our most important conferences where we can convene with friends, colleagues, and partners and learn from one another. Procon has been coming to the CMAA conferences for 10 plus years, uh, and we're so finally glad to be back in person and seeing everyone. On today's episode, we'll be joined by a very special guest. Earlier this week, I sat down with Ed Pergriba, Vice President of Construction Management here at Procon Consulting and also on the National Board of CMAA to talk about the conference and how he got involved with CMAA. Uh, so let's get right to it. Ed, what I thought we could do is just start by telling us who you are and what do you do for Procon and what is your role with CMAA? So I've been in the construction industry now for my entire career. I've led very large teams at major CM providers, Bechtel, Jacobs, STV, and now Procon. And I'm delighted to be here today. I'm delighted to work with Procon and uh, mature our organization into a world-class CM provider. Now, could you tell us a little bit about what you do and how important CMAA has been in your career? CMAA is uh, a wonderful organization that I was introduced to back in 1995. And I attended my first CMAA conference in the fall of 1996. And I really enjoyed what I learned at the conference as well as all the people that I've met in the industry. Our mission at CMAA is really to advance the practice of construction management as a professional service. And we're delighted to be in a position where we have uh, our record attendance here at the CMA in San Diego, only second to uh, Las Vegas. And so we've had a great attendance, lots of enthusiasm. And I've gotten tremendous feedback from all of the organizations that have participated. Now, as a board member, I wonder maybe you can just share a little bit about what CMAA's role and what do they, what do, they do in, in our industry? Well, the most important mission of CMAA is to define, educate, and advance the practice of CMAA. And we differentiate ourselves from the other uh, disciplines, design, engineering, architecture. And we look at ourselves as the implementers of the designs. And we find it very important to take people who are designers, people that are constructors, and help advance their professional practice. Uh, capabilities in order to move and advance our practice. What would you tell a young person or someone that's interested in joining CMAA? Uh, what would you say to them and how it has helped you in your career? Well, I'd uh, insist that they get engaged at the local chapter. And, and that's really where the work begins at CMAA. You get together with your local uh, could be competitors, could be people in your same company, and you'll meet friends uh, through CMAA, you'll meet business associates, you'll be able to advance your career. And then secondly, it's really to uh, get involved in the educational program and get yourself on the track towards a, a CCM certification. How has this uh, conference uh, fared for you this, year, this week? Uh, it's been busy. Uh, in addition to being a member of the board, I'm also on the uh, board of the foundation. And the foundation is very important because we are looking to uh, advance people's education through scholarship, help chapters uh, advance their chapter into a more prominent position. And so we give away money. And so it's a lot of fun to uh, go out and, and work with others in terms of um, the board members who have a lot of energy and have a lot of ideas on where we should take this organization. Well, speaking of where the organization is being taken, uh, what do you think of the new mission statement and the branding that I, I heard in, at, at the conference show this week? Well, you know, I was pleasantly uh, surprised that we sort of embarked on that uh, direction. Uh, we 
participated in a strategy session uh, last year and I thought it was very important that we expand sort of our view of the world and, and really start looking at programs in general. There are a lot of people yeah. doing program management. We had been so focused on the implementation of construction, but really we're out there facilitating programs, design and construction. And so I think it's important that that be represented in our name and in our mission statement. I mean, you and I talked about this a few years back and how important it was to include program management as a major discipline for CMAA. And it was really nice to see that this year. And so uh, I don't know your thoughts. I obviously know that uh, you're a big proponent of that. But as far as the industry, I think it was well received to hear that. And, and really want to be inclusive as an organization. We're really looking to create a big tent where people that are affiliated with the business can join us. And so it doesn't really matter where you come from. You could be a designer, uh, an architect, you could be a tradesperson, but someone who ultimately wants to work in a business where you're implementing projects, you're representing owners, and looking out for the best uh, outcome for all the stakeholders. Now, this week, have you attended any of the tracks? You know, I've been uh, fortunate enough to attend a couple of tracks. I always stop by and uh, want to hear about the latest in safety development, because I think safety is really an important um, function of a CM, ensuring that everyone who comes to work goes home safely. And so learning how best to implement a positive safety program is, is very important to me personally. Yeah, I love the way the CMAA opened up as part of their opening ceremony with a safety check with all the emergency. I mean, I think that that says a lot about their priorities and placing safety number one. Uh, I know it's, I know that uh, it speaks a lot, you know, volumes of what CMAA does. Yes, absolutely. Was there a specific incident that made safety such a high priority for CMAA? Well, you know, I, th I think our interest in uh, the individual is really paramount. And so when we think about the business that we're in, and it's a dangerous business, uh, there are cranes swinging, materials around job sites, we have uh, false work, we have temporary conditions throughout a project. And, and the last thing any one of us wants to do is either lose a colleague or miss work. And so it's very important. Uh, there probably hasn't been a single incident uh, that's motivated me personally. I'm just um, uh, very interested in uh, sort of the human element of safety. How do you get people to change their behavior and behave in a safe way and look out for their, their friends and look out for their coworkers? I think that's important. What was your most favorite thing that you did this week? Well, uh, for those of us who've been in this business for a while and have uh, relationships that sort of span the nation to catch up. And this is the one meeting point that we all decide upon and make it a point to connect and keep our relationship alive. So, Procon has a booth here at CMAA and have gotten a chance to chat with a few people that have stopped by and given us their thoughts on this year's conference. Uh, let's hear from what they have to say. Hi, I'm Barbara Reynolds. I am a construction manager at Parsons Corporation, and I'm also the chapter president for the National Capital Chapter of CMAA. Uh, my name's Christine Goins. I am a PE and a CCM. I work for a company called SNME. We're based out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Have about 30 offices east of the Mississippi. Main focuses are design, construction management, materials testing. I work particularly in the transportation sector, but we service all industries. Um, and lifelong, well, I should say industry career long CMAA member, so. My name is Uriol Vidal. I'm from Spain. From I work at Modelical with Ruben here. And we are here at CMAA to see uh, how's the environment of project management, what's going on, um, what technologies. We are from the technology sector. We are uh, digital consultants back in Spain. And we are here to know what's, what's going on, basically. And uh, my name is Sean O'Brien. I'm a construction manager for HDR. And I'm hoping to expand our network with a lot of uh, partners and uh, be able to learn how to do CM better for our clients. I'm Alan Drum. I'm the Vice President of uh, uh, Solution Engineering for ASITE here in North America. And we're here at the CMAA to uh, really 
provide uh, information about our platform, which we believe is unique. We help uh, really construction managers, owners, engineers, all everybody really within the built environment to help manage their data. So whether that's uh, electronic assets or you know, managing data being collected from uh, execution in the field. Okay, my name is Prad Miraj. I'm a senior vice president with JMT and our project controls discipline uh, leader. And from this conference, I hope to see some new products that we can introduce to our clients to help them deliver their projects and their programs. My name is Amber Kohut, and I'm um, based out of Fort Worth, Texas with NAWIC, the national office. Um, we were founded in 1953 by 16 women who chartered their very first chapter, the Fort Worth chapter. And then we grew from there. Now we're over 115 chapters. Our membership is just shy of 5,600 members. And we are just amplifying the success of women in the construction industry. My name is Ashley Bird. Uh, I'm a certified construction manager with ATCS. We're based in Herndon, Virginia. Um, currently working on all kinds of projects. I'm specifically working on some projects with the Metropolitan Washington Airports Authority. And I'm really here just to take it all in and, and really get to meet some exciting construction managers, uh, exhibitors, and just be able to take some, some good knowledge back to my team back in Virginia and hopefully build on some relationships that are made here and, and hopefully it spawns some new work, some new partnerships. We'll see what happens. I'm Vincent Testa. I work for Jacobs. Um, you know, I'm a board member with CMA and uh, just hoping to do more outreach here and get more people connected. And, uh, you know, being back from COVID, this is the biggest conference they've had in seven years. So, um, you know, it's excellent to see this many people out and getting back into the industry conversations. So how has your experience been so far at CMAA? It's been wonderful. It's, this is probably one of the best conferences for CMA that I've been to, and I've been to a number of them now, including the focuses, but it's great to see so many people out and about, so much collaboration and meeting folks from all over the country and really hearing about what services are out there and how to collaborate. It's great. We have, you know, the highest attendance that we've had, except I think for one conference. Lots of people here, lots of great education sessions, the new rollout of the CACM credential. It's It's been really good. For this conference, I, I love the conference. I just kept catching up with uh, our teaming partners and meeting new people and um, learning a lot of good things at the education sessions. We've mainly just solidified relationships that we've had a link in the past, but this is a great venue to get together with some of those people uh, that we see each year, uh, sort of like our friends at ProCon. And uh, so we're very excited about that. It's been a very productive uh, session for us. We've done uh, you know, normally I come to a show and, and do a few demos. I think I've done 10 today, okay. so it's been very active. And this year there's a lot more uh, diverse sessions that are on different topics, which is nice. Usually they focus on one topic or one, one point they want to make, but this year it's very diverse and there's a lot of different opportunity to go and learn. Any noteworthy uh, things that you're seeing at some of the sessions or people that you've met? I really like the section about um, thinking out of the box when you're hiring people, not being stuck in the mentality that we could only hire people who are architects or engineers, because myself, I'm not an architect or an engineer, but I bring a lot of wealth from previous experiences that I've had, and that's what I'm looking for in candidates. Really innovation and looking to get outside of our box of our normal architecture engineering construction persons and seeing what kind of talents we can grab into our industry to embrace that and then expand it and then really become that more of a diverse industry so i see that's where we're headed and if we don't do that i think we're going to be left behind so i think we as leaders as you are as i are we need to basically you know head that charge and I kind of see us as being on the on the cutting edge, leading edge of doing that. So I've uh, learned how to do Excel better and scheduling, and uh, obviously the plenary sessions were pretty exciting. Well, we've seen that blockchain is the future. Uh, there was a very cool session on uh, the use of drones in construction management. Yeah, uh, dr yeah drones and uh, how it's not just taking photos, but drones can provide uh, data data points as far as for survey control, uh, surveying ty uh, different types of things, uh, 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 creating a timeline of events on your construction projects, cool products, uh, you know, any anytime you talk drones, it's an innovative type uh, venture that's coming out now. And so I think it's going to really revolutionize 
how we manage construction projects. There was one earlier, um, the people from MARTA were talking a little bit about uh, what they do as far as changing technology and how they work as a team. And I thought it was funny. Uh, the group there was talking and uh, the owner actually said, everyone here needs, needs to make a profit. And then he handed the mic over to the GC. And the GC <laughs> said, well, I'm done here. And then he set it down. Yeah. So it was pretty good. It's pretty good learning session. Anything that has stood out this week for you? The weather. Hey, we're in San Diego. This is great. Well, I, I think that uh, this year has been the year of the light bulb going off in a lot of people's minds about the technology-based process improvements. And, you know, our partner Reconstruct and, and this type of technology is really starting to be understood. So, you know, I think it's sort of like the sea, sea change is coming or the ground beneath our, our feet is, is about to be shifting in a big way. So that's sort of, I've been here other years and I, I didn't get that sense. I got a sense that, you know, it still wasn't computing. Um, so this year I think it, that's, it's changed. The vendors that are here presenting, I mean, it's almost more tech companies than it is construction management firms. So. It's great to see. It's great to see some of the uh, CM firms bring in more tech headsets and really trying to push that forward. Ten years ago, there was 30 million in uh, joint uh, venture capital in the business. There's 30 billion today. So that alone just tells you that there's there's so much of an influx of tech and you know this this old school industry is about to change. I and mean, we've been saying it for years, but it's really it's really going to happen yeah. soon. I'd say the one big thing talking to everybody is, you know, some of the things, challenges that we're facing in the industry as far as staffing, um, yeah. which is a good problem to have because everybody seems like there's just a lot of work coming out. Everyone's going after contracts. And I think with those challenges, I feel like there's been a lot more collaboration between firms like, hey, how can I help you out? I got a need here. I got someone here available. Let's try to work something out. So it's good when we all get in one place because it makes those conversations a lot easier in person. Now, as a speaker, what was your presentation topic? Um, it was actually something that came about from the Focus 22 event in March in Chicago. So I had an after hours conversation about delegation, turned that into a presentation on the art of delegation. So how to really optimize the folks in your organization, provide growth opportunities for them and take the burnout out of your own workforce. Now, what advice would you give to any young person that wants to join CMAA and what benefits that you would get out of being part of the, this amazing association? Um, I mean, just get online and go apply and do it. Um, it's, it's a very straightforward application process. And as soon as you get involved, you start to get connected with people. So just get out there. You know, we're the premier organization for construction management. Um, every year we get better. We now have the CMIT credential for young people just coming out of college. We have the CACM for mid-level people and we have the CCM for the seniors. It, it's great and I, I would encourage everyone that's interested in construction management to join this association. We, we really promote the CCM and the CMIT certifications. Um, it really gives you confidence as you go into construction sites that you're working with best practices and uh, it gives uh, a common standard. Uh, I think specifically for me as a, a company owner, it gives a common standard that I can hold people to and a, a common language that we can speak together. Because there's a lot of information at these kind of activities, at these events, is take back what, you know, what we can truly you know, implement and really make a difference versus just leave here with a bunch of information and do nothing with it. I think that's, you know, the thing of it is, is if it's one or two or three nuggets, let's take those one or three nuggets, let's plant those seeds and let's make that grow. Um, I would say if you've never been to one of these, you gotta come. Um, being a certified construction manager is one of the best decisions that I ever made uh, from taking the review courses, sitting through the exam, and then the opportunities that it's opened up for me in this industry, uh, it, it's unmatched, it's unbelievable. Thanks again to Ed for taking the time during a busy conference week to chat with me. To all our colleagues that were here with us, it was great to see you. If you're tuning in, tell us down in the comments below your favorite part of the conference. And if you have any suggestions for the next CMAA conference, we'd love to hear from you. So leave the comments below. Ed and the team would love to hear your feedback. We need to get going to the fireside chat with the team from Reconstruct, so stay tuned for our next episode, to hear that conversation, make sure to subscribe below so you don't miss it. Thanks so much for tuning in. So until next time, that was The Build Up.